So this is the on the seam placket. You usually find these on skirts and petticoats. And you'll choose your length of your opening. Usually about six and a half, seven inches plus your waist allowance. Um, you can make them longer if you choose. Depends what you make, what you're doing it. And you can stagger where your openings of your petticoats, your petticoats and skirts are, because you don't want them all piling up on top of each other. So you end up with a big bulk all at the back. So you could do your petticoat at the front and then your skirt at the back and that alleviates the bulk. So you can play with where you want your openings to be. So when you're making on the seam placket, first thing you do is you sew up your seam. So you sew up your opening that you want usually six to seven inches plus an inch to attach into your waistband so seven or eight inches stitch on a larger stitch number five lock at that point and then carry on with your number three stitch then you can press them open overlock your left hand side and open up your number five stitches up to the locked section that you have then you need to make a little placket so these are an inch wide your seam allowances so make it four inches and the length of your opening plus an inch here so this is where your opening is and we're going to go down to this point here So you fold your placket fabric in half and just stitch a small seam allowance on one end. Then bag it out to the front. Press it. And then with the raw edges and the raw edges of your seam allowance here, And remember you go on one inch past the opening you're gonna line up the bottom with the one inch below and line up this folded edge with the overlocked edge then get a few pins pick up all your raw edges here it's here and pin it make sure they're okay so that's even and this is an inch past the opening and then you flip it over and you will come and machine in this crease And you'll have to come around your previous stitching where the opening is and stitch beside it. So stitch that all down. So in the ditch of the crease till you get to the stitching and then you'll have to go just slightly beside it to the end of your placket. So they're all secured together. And then what you will do is pick up all these raw edges. So here, all these edges, and you're gonna overlock all this together. Seam allowance and the placket raw edges. So you'll end up with a finished edge like this all overlocked. 
and then on the left side just where the opening is this will be a weak point so just where the opening is you'll pick up your seam allowance and the placket and stitch from the stitch line across here that supports it there gives it some strength so that's your placket so this is the front of it and you can see where you stitch across at the base and that's the placket underneath so the top would get caught into the waistband up here and then you can put your fastening and sometimes depending on how long your opening is you can put a pop a couple of poppers there if, it, if you've got a long opening and that's a placket on the seam so it's hidden and behind the fabric so you can't see what's going on underneath there so a continuous placket you do a continuous placket on just in the middle of your panel usually um you know, on shirt fronts, like them grandfather shirt type thing, or you zero waist shirt that you're going to be doing. So you're creating it in the middle of a panel. So what you need to do is make your opening. So do it about six, seven inches, allow for it to go into the neck band. So add another inch for that. Draw your line, make sure it's on the straighter grain, and then if you come along and machine either side of your line that you've created with a number two stitch. So this will this will help with um, once you cut it, help the fraying. So you stitch, you can go about three millimeters out and stitch down to the point and come in closer so you're one stitch it's only one stitch across to the other side of it and then back up the other side then you need to you're going to create a band it's a bit like bias binding so cut yourself a strip that in this case it's two inches wide and it's double the length of my opening this is a little bit longer but yeah so make sure it's long enough and then you can cut this open so really clean cut Cut it to the point, right up to the point, but don't cut through your threads. So sharp, sharp scissors and right up to your point. So cut it just before you're ready to sew it. Don't cut it and leave it hanging around because what will happen, it will fray and then it'll be no good. So cut it just before you're about to attach your placket bit to it then you can open it up and what you're going to do on the front you're going to stitch along and and then up here so if you pin it in place so i've machined this to the left of the guidelines, guide, guiding stitch line down here. I've left my needle down in the machine and then I've shifted this so I don't end up with a pinch mark there and then carried on. And then once you've done that, so once you've sewn it down, trimmed it off, then if you 
press in from the in your seam allowance. Bring it into the inside. And what you're going to do is you're going to bind it like you do your bias binding. So if you turn it and then you want to catch that stitching underneath there. So if you press it, So I've pressed it off and I'm going to slip stitch, catching all this right edge underneath, slip stitch it around. And then you turn it to the inside. And you decide which side you want it to go to. So press it once after you've hand stitched it. So you created a nice placket. And then on the inside here, this is a weak point. So you will come and do a diagonal stitch from this point to here. So. Stitch there with the machine. And then that will secure that. And you can have it to either side that you choose. So man or woman's one at that side. Yep. Just press it back. So that's your so that's a continuous Lock it. So this is the sleeve placket that we're gonna make. This one is, the opening will be five inches, half an inch to go into the cuff, and the actual opening will be four and a half inches. So this is a little template I've created to make your life easier. I've done all the maths for you. Um, I can email this a scan of it to you or you can draft it up. So looking at it it's 14 centimeters on the left side, 11 across and 16 up the right side and then go in seven centimeters here and up here it's four. So if you look at these, on the shorter side, measure off two centimeter sections and go straight across. And up to the first one, you're gonna draft these lines going down. So it's one centimeter width, two, two, two. And this one is divided in half by a dotted line, so that's your opening. And then 1.5 centimeters, 1.5 and 1 centimeter. So if you divide them all up into that. And these are just all 1 centimeter. So this will be the point of your placket. And these smaller ones around here. The 1 centimeter all the way around the outside is your seam allowance. So once you've got that prepped, trace it lightly onto some calico 
you can carbon paper it or carbon paper it with a do with yellow carbon paper. Once you've done it a few times, you won't need to do the step, but to help you understand it, I want you to grid out all the lines. So once you've traced it out, cut it out. you're ready so your opening here up to here is on this one it's five inches so by the time I finished it and um, added my cuff it'll be four and a half inch opening so you need to decide how long you want your opening so it won't always be the same so you've got a deeper cuff you could do a three and a half inch opening Plus your seam allowance. In this case, we're going to have a four and a half inch, so it would be for a smaller cuff. So you need to decide how long you want it for your project that you're doing. So on the inside of my fabric, I've created my opening. which is five inches long. And then I'm gonna place my placket, the dotted line on my placket, check it there. So if you look at this, it's, it's gonna be open to here, so it's five inches. So allowing half an inch for some to go into the cuff. Um, and then what I'll do, I'll come and stitch on a number two stitch around here. Leave my needle down, turn, go across, leave my needle down, turn, and go back down the other side. So when I get to this point, I lift my foot up, turn my work around, turn my work around, and then carry on to the next corner. Just use your, your wheel by hand so you don't go too far. Foot up again and turn, foot down. And then carry on. And then once I've machined around, I can cut it open. So up the dotted line, up the center. Come to that point and then just cut to the corner. Don't cut through the threads. Make sure you put the tip of your scissor there, sharp scissors, and clip. Don't clip through the threads. Don't go like that because you might go too far. And clip the other side. So your next step is you cut it open, iron it, them sides in, give that little end a little press in, and then turn it to the all into the front. And tweak this bottom bit. Just want to press that down. If it's pulling here, you might need to go back and clip a little bit. And then it's kind of like a, a binding. So this is your guide. You're going to wrap it forward. So if you follow your little lines in there, and you're going to bind it around. 
So bring it up to your stitching, just slightly cover it and give it a press. Same on the other side, push this forward. You can turn that. And on the next crease, so it should come up to your stitch line, just slightly covering it. And press again. So now what you want to do is you're going to come and machine down here. And then on this side, this is going to be where your point is. So if you look on the other side, that's all fixed and turned in. So this is this little extension here is you're going to make your little points. So it's a bit like the roof, a little roof. So you can see your, you can just see my uh, line through the fabric here. This is my point here. So what I'm going to do is fold it into the corner just slightly back. Like that, yeah, and then back down to my point. So try and make them even. And give it a good press. So I prepped it all. So you can see. And what I'll do, I'll come and stitch down here around the point and back up. But I only want to come to see where this line is here. So I'm going to pop a pin there so I know this is where I want to stop. So I'm going to stitch around here, around there, there, and then just come to where the pin is and then go straight across. And that will secure your placket. So... I'll go away and do that. So I've stitched down the side here and I've come to the first corner. I've come to the first corner and leaving my needle down. Lift my foot up and I can turn. Make sure that the little fold isn't peeping out. And I'm going to stitch around here, stop, turn, stop, turn, and just before the pin, stop, and then go straight across. So I'll try to do some on the foot up, stop, turn. your wheel as you get. Stop turn and then back up. And then stop turn and I can go straight across where the pin was. This is your finished placket. It's a bit hard trying to film and sew at the same time. Sorry about that. So, it's made it go a bit wonky there. Um, so, I've sewn up around the house 
and across and you can see the inside and this the width of this is slightly smaller and the reason for that is you need to line this up so if they're even completely even you there's a danger of cat when you top stitch this that you might catch this underneath so hence the reason for just slightly making that side a little bit shorter because um, if you're pulling it out like that you might shift this out of line so that's how I do it so that way you can line it up really straight and there's no danger. Can you see where the stitch line is? It's left you a few millimeters of space to stitch without hitting this. So stitch up around the little house and across. And that's your shirt placket. So the length that you want to make it, that's your choice for whatever project you're doing. Yeah, sleep placket for you.